So it was requested of me to make a video on a very common abnormal pap smear result known as ASCUS. So this video is going to briefly describe what that term means and what it indicates as a pap smear result, as well as what follow-up steps you should expect your doctor to take following this result. Let's get started. First things first, what does ASCUS stand for? ASCUS stands for atypical squamous cells of undetermined significance. I know, a mouthful, right? This means that your pap smear results found that you had slightly abnormal cell changes on your cervix. However, it doesn't clearly suggest that precancerous cells are present. So, from there, your doctor will most likely reanalyze your sample to see if any high-risk viruses are present, which are known to promote the growth of cancer, such as HPV. If no high-risk viruses are present, then your doctor will take no further action because the abnormal cell changes will most likely clear up on their own. However, if high-risk viruses are found, your doctor will recommend that you have a colposcopy and potentially a cervical biopsy along with it to determine if precancerous cells or cancer are present. A key thing to remember is that pap smears do not diagnose cancer. Pap smears are a screening test, meaning that they take women and screen them out to see if they have any potential abnormal cell changes which may indicate the presence of cancer. And from there, these women will be given further tests which will then diagnose if cancer is present or not. Which is why it's so important to have routine screening tests. So again, this is just a very brief video describing what an ASCUS pap smear result indicates and what to expect if you have one. So if you do happen to receive an abnormal pap smear result of ASCUS, no need to be alarmed. For many women, the abnormal cell change is clear on their own, and if they don't, your doctor will guide you through any further tests that may need to be taken in your situation. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.